What's going on, everybody? I'm back with another video for my Omi homies, and it's been a historic week for the Omi token, a historic week for Vivi, something that we've been waiting many, many months finally happened this week, and that is the Omi token migration to IMX. We are no longer on the dead, irrelevant Go Chain blockchain. We are now on Ethereum, the most relevant blockchain via IMX. So this is something we've been waiting for. It's a catalyst that is going to kick off the next series of catalysts. So there's a lot to talk about in this video. All right. And we're going to get into all of it, including macroeconomic events uh, that will influence the short-term price action of the OMI token. So stick around. As always, there's a lot to talk about. If you like this sort of content, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. So a couple of weeks ago, Gary V was in an interview and he said that if and when VV is on top of the Ethereum blockchain, he would have to do a deep dive. He would have to do his 50 hours of homework and research. Now, there's no way that Gary V hasn't already done that research because that's what Gary V does. He's backing Recur, which is a competitor to VV. So there's no way that he doesn't already know everything about what is happening with VV. But that's besides the point. The point is that blockchains matter. Okay. And GoChain is a dead, decrepit technology. It's old, it's outdated, and the center of the NFT universe is Ethereum. And that is where we are now at. Vivi and the whole Ecomi project is now firmly sitting on top of Ethereum. All right, so this is going to set off a number of catalysts and enable a number of things in the coming months. And this is something that we've all been waiting for. Many years from now, OMI token holders will be able to say that they owned the OMI token back when it was on GoChain. They'll be able to say that they owned the OMI token back when it was on just four small exchanges and they had to go through eight steps in order to make a purchase. All right. So those days are coming to an end. So in the coming weeks and months ahead, you can expect a flurry of new exchanges to be announced. And I don't know if we're going to get Binance or Coinbase right away. Maybe we'll get an FTX or a Kraken or a KuCoin. But the bottom line is that a major barrier to entry for a lot of people looking to buy this coin is about to be removed. And the OMI token is about to become much, much more accessible to people. Now, I don't expect the exchanges to all come right away. I think that they'll trickle in over time. We might get one or two announced in February and then the rest will take time. But in the coming months, we're going to have many, many more exchanges listing this token. And that means more volume of trading. It means that the coin will be less susceptible to manipulation. It means that it will have more mainstream appeal to retail investors who don't have the time to do a ton of research or watch tutorials and take 10 steps simply to buy a token. Just take a look at the top NFT tokens sorted by 24 hour trading volume. Sandbox is currently at number one with a billion dollars in trading volume over the last 24 hours, then Axie Infinity, then Decentraland. But where is Omi? We got Engine Coin, Sushi Swap, Tezos. We have something called Super Rare, I've never heard of. Vulcan Forged, never heard of. This one can't pronounce, never heard of. Alluvium is there. Origin. Look at all of these coins with more trading volume than the OMI token. You have to keep scrolling below something called P Network to get to a Komi, which has just $3 million in trading volume over the last 24 hours. All of this is about to change. In the last AMA, Reese said that there are a number of exchanges just waiting to list the OMI token, and that's because they want to be associated with the project that has partnerships with companies like Disney, with Marvel, with the United States Postal Service, 
This is an investment that, that is very easy for people to understand. So it's only natural that I believe the major exchanges will want to list the token. Just take a look at MANA, the, the token for Decentraland. It's listed on something like 65 exchanges, including all of the major ones like Binance, Coinbase, KuCoin. Take a look at Sandbox, which is listed on over 60 global cryptocurrency exchanges, including 10 of the top 15 exchanges. Now, considering the partnerships that VV already has established, considering the fact that there are likely to be 5 million active users by 2023, and considering the fact that we will have a metaverse that will likely have more concurrent users than Decentraland, to me, there is no way that at some point in 2023, this OMI token will not be listed on at least 30 exchanges, possibly 60 exchanges. It just wouldn't make sense to me considering the uh, accelerated growth of this project. All right, it wouldn't make sense that we wouldn't be listed on as many exchanges as Decentraland and as Sandbox. But wait, there's more. Not only will IMX enable the, the ability to list on more exchanges, it will also enable OMI Utility. And we know that the OMI Utility program is coming soon, but we're seeing a small bit of utility start in the IMX NFT marketplace, where we're seeing people list NFTs, not VV NFTs, because those aren't interoperable yet, but we're seeing them list other NFTs for OMI so people can sell their NFTs and receive the OMI token as payment. Now to me this is more symbolic than anything and I don't expect OMI to become you know native currency of IMX anytime soon but Hello K who I respect he's very smart he's a software engineer he's in the NFT space tweeted this out last week and it caught my attention Everyone asking for new exchanges for OMI, I envision it'll be taken a step further and multiple platforms will actually accept OMI as a transactional currency. OMI will go from barely any utility to utility on crack. Now, I think we're a long way away from this happening, but the possibility does exist that one day we will see the OMI token used as a native currency for digital platforms all right the the possibility is there and the ambition is there the team has said it david you has said that this is a direction that he is looking to take the project in another direction that ecomi and vivi are going in is gamification and last week epico regal which is a small platform announced a partnership with leading company in digital collectibles space ecomi Notice the wording there, leading company. We'll see what happens there as more details emerge, but it's just another partnership, another step in the right direction. We'll see what happens there as more details emerge, but it's just another partnership, another piece of the puzzle. We'll see what happens there as more details emerge, but it's just another partnership and just another piece of an ever evolving puzzle. Meanwhile, the drops keep coming. Today we got the Disney Mickey and Friends NFT collection, which was a new category of character cards. Tomorrow we've got Marvel Mighty's Spider-Man drop. Some pretty cool and significant first appearances, particularly with the Green Goblin Ultra Rare and the Spider-Man 2099 Secret Rare. And then it was announced that Peely Fantasy entered a partnership with VV to drop War of Dragon NFTs, which is significant because it is a step towards the Asian market, another step towards the Asian market. This is a Taiwanese multimedia company, which also represents an addition to VV's Asian-based NFT collection. So look at all of the pieces of the puzzle slowly coming together. The IMX migration, which will enable you know, more exchanges. We have our first signs of OMI utility with the ability to sell NFTs over an IMX for OMI. We have a partnership with Epico uh, that is a step towards gamification. We have a partnership with a new company 
that is another step towards the Asian market, which maybe means that we are closer to localization. Meanwhile, the overall crypto market is uh, tanking, all right? It's in a downtrend, and that has nothing to do with the uh, fundamentals of the crypto market, but everything to do with macroeconomics. So how will that affect the OMI token in the near term? So we know that there's a lot going on in the world, a lot of uncertainty with the Fed, with interest rate hikes and inflation. We know that Russia is on the cusp of war with Ukraine. And now the Biden administration is saying that regulating Bitcoin is a matter of national security and they'll be releasing their plan for crypto regulation in February. So all of these things which have absolutely nothing to do with the fundamentals of crypto are taking a toll on the overall market. Everything has been down lately. Everything except for OMI, which went from a bottom of 0.0051 back on January 10th to 0.0074 at the time of this recording. So the OMI price has held up quite well compared to others during the, this current downtrend. And I expect it to continue to hold up well compared to others because of all of the aforementioned catalysts. All right? That being said, I do think that the, the potential upside will be suppressed as long as there's so much uncertainty in the overall market. I think that with all of this uncertainty in markets, hate uncertainty, it will limit OMI's upside in the short term. Now, can we get past one penny? I think that that is definitely possible with a new exchange. Might we see a new all-time high? You never can tell, but I do think it will be uh, a little difficult given the current market conditions. But I think that once sentiment changes, once inflation fears you know slowly disappear and, and the overall fear in the market disappears, OMI is going to be ready to, to roll uh, heading into the second half of the year. So a lot of great things going on. Let me know what you are most excited about down in the comments below. If you like the content, make sure you hit the like button on your way out. Consider subscribing to the channel. As always, I hope you all have a great weekend. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe. I will see you in the next video.